Welcome back coding fans. We are here in moving further forward, which is our first lesson in parameters. And what parameters will allow us to do is better manipulate our functions or write a generic fun function that we can manipulate when we call it um, to try and figure this stuff out a little easier. Um, and it's gonna make coding a lot easier, I think. Now in this puzzle, uh, we have one gym to get up here, and we will also need to turn these platforms up to get to it. So we need to get to this lock, and we'll start down here. So the first thing we're gonna do is initialize our expert, capital expert. There we go. And then we've already written the, they've already written this function for us, and it says function move distance integer. Our integer means our, our whole numbers, including negative numbers and zero. But the whole deal is, is when we move, we can't move a half a block or a third of a block or stuff like that. So we're just going to use our whole number of values um, or our integer values uh, that are going to be those numbers. So we're going to move some distance. Okay. Uh, and we're going to use a for loop here. So we say four. And instead of a specific number right now, we're going to have it be a distance, a parameter that we will uh, designate later. So for I in one through generic distance, and what we'll do is this integer um, right here, when we pl plug it into our function, will tell us what that distance will be. Uh, and then this will allow our expert to dot move forward, dot move forward, there we go. However many times we call that integer. All right, so let's go ahead and run this code uh, so that we can see where our expert pops up and we're right there. So looking at it, they're gonna have to move forward one, two, three, four, five, down the stairs, six. So we are going to um, move a distance. And the cool thing is, is we've already coded expert, so we can just type in move six it makes it a whole lot easier so they'll move six and if you'll notice when we run it um, our expert will move that distance that we put in right here because that's what our function says it's going to do All right. so that's the explanation if you want to hit pause now and uh, go ahead and code this yourself you can um, or you can kind of follow along with me. Everything's going to be done pretty much in commands, no loops or anything like that for the most part. So let's go ahead and keep going. Our expert will dot turn right. There we are, turn right. Our expert will dot. Oh, I don't need to do that because it is the, I can just run our move. Um, I was just going to say expert dot move, but it's already there. Move distance two. So turn right, move two. And what I'm going to do, because the next one is a turn right as well, I'm going to hit select and do this. All right, so select, copy these two, and then paste it below. Um, so turn right, now don't want them to move two, they're gonna move one, two, three, four, five to get in front of the next stairs. Uh, so right here, they're gonna go in front of these stairs, five. Let's run to make sure that my counting is right, uh, is correct. Here we are again, just hit okay, double tap the home screen, or the, the circular home button, flick up, relaunch your app, and it'll save everything we want it to have saved. Um, so right here, I know I said I was gonna run it, but I'm gonna assume that I'm correct. Uh, right here, they're gonna need to turn left and move, so I'll go ahead and paste it again, and I'll change turn right. Right here, they're gonna need to turn left, so I can just write that there. And then they're gonna move, let's say they go up those stairs, one, two, three, four, five, to get in front of the, uh, the lock. Uh, so we'll run it here to see how this one's going. 
There we are, we'll move them faster. All right, so it looks like I've counted right. So that gets them to the lock. We're gonna expert dot turn left. Uh, we're going to lowercase expert dot turn lock. Now that lock controls these. It's gonna turn the lock up. And I can't tell whether that's gonna go up once or twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it so that we can know right away whether we can keep coding. Okay, so that looks right. So we're gonna to need to turn left and move again. So I'm going to paste again and change turn right to turn left to get them facing towards where they can get to the platforms. And then from where our expert is standing, they're gonna move three. Okay, hit return. I'm gonna paste, turn right and move again. And if they turn right, they'll move three. Which should get them to the end of the platform. So then they're gonna turn right again. So this paste of turn right and move some distance. And I'm gonna say one, two, three, four. Uh, so that's going to move four, and we'll go ahead and run this and see if this works out. All right, so as you can see, um, this function becomes really, really useful when we do it this way as opposed to calling that. So we got all the way to the end, and I forgot to expert.collectGym, which is fine. So now I know that everything is going to work, um, and this is just a better way to do this. Now in the future, when we're dealing with more than one person, um, the move with the parameter of distance is going to still be there, but we're going to have to put either character dot move distance or expert dot move distance. So here we are right here. All right, we'll see you on the next one.